everyone, Charity Preston here from the Organized Classroom blog. Today we're going to be talking about a really cool, easy way to do a bulletin board or put up some student work on a wall, something that's not going to have to be rotated all year long, and the students are in charge, so it makes it super easy for you. Okay, so this is something I've done in a lot of my classrooms, and the students like it, the parents like it, the administrators like it, I like it. The first thing that you're going to need is you're going to have to find some their picture frame mats. Now this one is a 9 by 12. I want it to be bigger than a standard size sheet of paper because I'm going to be hanging a standard size sheet of paper in the middle of it and I don't want it to overlap it. So these ones are 9 by 12. The only place that I have found that has them very cheap, it's about $10 for 12 of them, which is very cheap. Try to go to your local framing shop to find them and they're going to be a lot more than that. Um, as school specialty catalog, if you double click on this video, if you are watching it in Facebook, just double click on it and in the um, description I will put the link for school specialty catalog for this particular product if you are looking for it. It's the only place that I've been able to find them and um, they're a pretty good deal so I always buy stacks of them. So I like to do these on open house night. It's an easy, easy thing for students to be able to do. Their parents can be with them to kind of hurry them along. You don't have to take up class time. And it's yet an activity in your room that gets them already started for the year. And you can hang them up then right away. So when the students come in, they find their desk. They will find one of these frames. They are basically cardstock. It's just a really heavy tag board. Um, kind of like cardstock, so it's not super flimsy paper, but it's not super sturdy either. Definitely cardboard there. Then, in the middle of the desk, I also have a basket, of course. Um, and in there, I have lots and lots of foamy stickers um, that have lots of little decorations on them, and they are stickers, so you can peel the adhesive off of the back of them. And then I also have a small um, trash can somewhere nearby in the sections because they are going to make a mess. They are going to throw them on the floor. They are going to put them back into the basket, the backings. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Once you clean it up, you don't have to do it again for the rest of the year. So you're saving time along the line somewhere. Then one last thing that you're also going to need is um, letters that are foam stickers too. You can get, they come in gajillions of different fonts and letterings and colors. I really like the primary colors because I think it looks super sharp on the black frame. So what the students are going to do is they're going to go through the foam letters. They're first going to put their name on their frame. They're going to use the sticky to put them on there. Now they can do it this way. They can come down the sides. They can do it this way. They could do it backwards. It's up to them. That's the, the best part of this. It's their frame. There's no right way, there's no wrong way, as long as their name gets on it someplace. Then the next part is they're going to decorate their frame with the stickers from in the basket as well. Whatever you want to throw in there. Um, I've used sports ones before, flower ones, party ones. There's a million different ones. Craft stores are a great place to find these as well as I'm sure Walmart also has them as well. So this is what a finished one would look like. Hi, this one of course is Natalie's and as you can see you put it on a bulletin board okay it looks pretty nice up there it really pops out the color pops out the student's name they can decorate this as much or as little as they want to their parents will be there so they'll certainly be pushing them along to get finished with it um, and then you don't need any backing behind it you can put it on a, a plain cork board go ahead and staple it up there if you have a wall in your room, they look super fantastic. If you put a whole wall full of these, remember they're not super small, so you're gonna have to have a pretty big bulletin board to fit them all up there. So you could either staple it to your wall, which I have done in the past. It's a lot easier to create little tiny pin prick staple holes rather than put push pins in there. If stapling's not an option, I also love um, sticky clips. I get these at my local teacher supply store. They are little clips that have wax 
on the back of them. I work in a room that is concrete block, so no amount of tape will stick those up there. So if I put the wax on there, put the four clips, and actually you can actually do it with two, and stick them up on your wall, press them against there, they'll stay up there all year long. Then, as students throughout the year do something, you a, a certain assignment, it's a, a drawing that they made for you, whatever they want. That's the key to this, is you don't ever have to change the student work. I would probably start with some type of paper at the beginning of the year for the first week of school or at an open house. They can also do that whenever they do with this. It could be a quick coloring page, whatever they want. Then you're going to, with sticky tack, this is already going to be up on the wall, sticky tack, put the paper right in the middle of it. I've also used this little dots of wax as well. These work just as well. Once again, I have the concrete block. Okay. Then throughout the year, as the student wants to change the work they may, you will get students that will never change their work, but that's their choice. You will get some students that are going to want to change it out every single day. That's okay as well. I would encourage it if you're passing back something and you see they've done really well, it's something that's very creative, it's something that you think their parent might want to see before um, parent conference night parental activity, involvement kind of things, anything that they want, have them give it to you and you can swap it out very, very quickly. The old paper gets handed back to them, the new paper goes up. You don't even have to make sure there's a name on it because there's already a name on their frame. You know who it belongs to. So that is my quick and easy idea for great bulletin boards. These will last all year when um, a parent or an administrator comes in to see what student work you have displayed on your wall, they're probably not gonna see the same set of papers every single time because you're gonna have those students that are gonna wanna change it weekly, monthly, daily. So there's always gonna be something up there and the students are gonna be proud of what's up there because they're the ones that chose to put whatever they wanted up there. So that's the idea for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure if you have other great ideas, Feel free to join us at our Facebook fan page at www.facebook.com forward slash the organized classroom blog. Of course, you can still find me on my YouTube channel if you double click on this video. Right at the very top, there's a subscribe button. If you click on that button, you will be subscribed to my channel and be able to see all of my videos uh, for different classroom organization ideas and different things that I've done as well and of course you can always come and find us at our website www.theorganizedclassroomblog.com and we look forward to hearing from you and seeing you and interacting with you on our Facebook fan page and I hope you have a great night. Bye!